capsule. Okay, no one. Show everyone the renal capsule. Okay. The skin-like structure. Very good. Keeps the kidney in shape. Now we remove the renal capsule. Yes, remove any tissue. Okay. Okay, anyway. Step three, locate the hilus. This is an indentation where the ureter and the blood vessels enter and exit the kidney. Remove any excess apodose tissue to observe the ureter more closely. The renal artery and vein may be difficult to locate. They were severed close to the hilus when the kidney was removed from the animal. So would it be on this so side? So the hilus is in that little jumble of things. Right there? It's right there, yeah. Hilus? Is it recording? It's recording, yeah. Oh, okay. This is hilus. Right there. And we are to remove it. Insertion. Let's see the layers. Hey, look, layers. Okay. What do we have to locate? The cortex and the medulla. So, the cortex. Is the outside part? Yeah, this yeah. is kind of fans out. And the medulla is just inside of the Just yeah. the darker area. The medulla consists of numerous conical structures called the renal pyramids. The base of each pyramid lies next to the cortex. Know where that is? The cortex is the big white thing in the middle. Yeah. While the tip forms a renal palpula. The tip goes into my nose. Each palpula projects into the renal sinus. Okay. Yep. Renal pyramids are separated by bands of tissue called renal columns. Each column begins in the cortex and extends through the medulla. Examine the texture of this tissue. The columns have a granular texture similar to that of the cortex. Both grainy. Use your finger. <laughs> Use my finger. It's very rough, very grainy, like it described. Um, each renal pyramid and adjacent cortical region make up a renal lobe. Urine production occurs in the renal lobes. Each renal palpula discharges urine into a cup-shaped minor calyx. Four or five minor calluses merge to form a major calyx. Major calluses merge to form the renal pelvis. The renal pelvis is formed by a wall of thick fibrous tissue and forms the expanded end of the ureter. It's right there where the divot is. Okay. Using a scalpel, carefully cut one wall of the ureter and extend the incision to the hilus. The ureter is continuous with the renal pelvis. Observe the fine ridges on the endothelial lining of the ureter and renal pelvis. You kind of can see the ridges. Once you have observed all the structures of the kidney, dispose of a specimen in, in, of this specimen in accordance with local guidelines and your teacher's instructions. Goodbye, my friend. Gone. Do you want to say a couple words? Bye. Running. Where is what is the function of the hilus nolen? Hilus. The depression where the renal artery, the renal vein, and the ureter <laughs> enter and exit the kidney. Okay, sure. What is the important part of a nephron? It's found in the renal corpus. The answer is A. <laughs> Question three. What is the function of the renal pelvis? The renal pelvis is a large cavity that receives urine from major calluses. Why do you think the kidney is made of uh, several distinct layers? That was a strong answer. Used to filter blood. So when it goes to every layer, it detoxifies until it's removed. After many layers, you cut. Okay, after our dissection, dissection, we can conclude the functions of the kidneys. The 
kidneys play an important role in, the maintain, in maintaining homeostasis. They remove waste products from the blood, maintain blood pH, and regulate the water content of the blood, and therefore, blood volume. These are our classmates. They also did the dissection. But ours is better. That is not that bad. We are the science guys. <laughs> Science. Science.